Welcome to another parent-teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. And welcome to part two of lesson 15. And in this lesson, we're uh, working on recognizing the numbers zero to 20. Okay, as you can see, things have changed here. I'm now working with number cards and I have them in a very different kind of array. But before, and I had to do that so uh, I didn't waste a lot of time putting them like this. But really where you wanna start is you wanna take your entire uh, number deck and you and your child can try to lay it out on a table or the floor from zero to 20 in order. And um, that may be very challenging for a lot of kids. Um, but if it is challenging for your child, you can uh, jump in and, and help as needed until of course uh, uh, he or she can do it on their own. And once you've done that, let's say, uh, she's finally mastered that activity and you have a long line of cards from zero to uh, 20, this is what you wanna do next. You wanna start taking the cards from the line and putting them in this array and he'll probably look at you and think, oh, what? what is he or she doing there? Well, you can explain to them that it's getting very difficult working with these cards because the line is getting too long and Pretty soon, when we learn more numbers, it'll be going out the door, so <laughs> you can make a joke about that. So here's what I've done. I've set it up so we can read the numbers uh, exactly the way we read a book. You start up here, left to right, this direction, and when you get to this number nine, you have to come down and start here again. Keep reading across, left to right, you get here, you come down to the next uh, line or row, depending on how you want to explain it. So we're reading the cards just like we might be reading um, uh, someone's writing or a book. And this, this may be very difficult for, for your child to get right away, but hang in there. They will, uh, sooner or later, uh, they will pick up on, of course, some uh, will probably do it quicker than others. So now we have the numbers laid out in three rows and uh, you've explained why you've done it to your child. Um, now you can pick up all the numbers, uh, shuffle them up and see if uh, he or she can do it. And like I said, this could be extremely challenging. So uh, you just have to hang in there and work with, with her as long as you, as you need to so they can set up the numbers in uh, this kind of array. Uh, once you have it in this particular uh, arrangement or array, now you can do a lot of good things with number work here. You can uh, make some connections to uh, how numbers work. You can compare numbers in each row and each column. For example, you could point out to your child, well look, all of these numbers in the first row have one digit. They're one digit numbers. And then all of these in the second row are two-digit numbers. And st starting this third row is a two-digit number. Um, you could say something like, uh, oh, all of the uh, numbers in this row, besides having two digits, they all start with a one. And then uh, he or she might figure this out on their own. They'll say, ooh, but in the second digit, is the same as the number just above it, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. So you're making connections. 
uh, between these numbers and how numbers work. You know, uh, you know, she, uh, you might say, well, that's five, and fifteen is a five with a one just in front of it, and that's, of course, is an important connection to make and. Uh, and we'll get into that shortly when we talk about the teen numbers. So there's a lot of different connections you can make here with the numbers and there's ways you can work with them so uh, your child begins to see that, yeah, numbers uh, relate to each other in, in many different ways. Um, and uh, you can uh, sort of uh, introduce what we call the teen numbers by saying all of the numbers in this row are teen numbers. Why do we call them teen numbers? Because they're all two digits and they all begin with a one. So, and you'll be working with those very shortly here. So these are all what we call the teen numbers. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And once you do that, you can go back to your printable here, zero to 20 number card activities and you can work your way uh, through these just like we did in the last lesson. And now let's just focus in on uh, what I refer to as the teen numbers. And of course that's this row of numbers right here. And we already talked about those a little bit. Uh, now we're going to focus on um, just the, the uh, skill of simply being able to name all the team numbers and some are it, what we call irregular, uh, so it's, it's a bit of a challenge for a young child and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Uh, the first thing you want to do is remove the 20 from this array and that there's no reason to really have it here in this exercise and it may actually cause some confusion. So I'm going to take the, the 20 away for right now. And I'm going to start out, uh, and you can start out like this with your child, by uh, naming the, what I call the regulars. And the regulars are 14, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And here's how you would do it. You would uh, tell your child, well, this number is four, and this number is 14. So you just add the word teen on the end. 6, 16. 7, 17. 8, 18. 9, 19. And then you uh, have to, well, uh, you can uh, um, work with her a little bit to see if she can name them just like you did and kind of get those down. And then uh, th that'll actually be pretty easy, but then comes the hard part, the irregulars. And of course, they're all mixed in <laughs> with, with the regular ones. Uh, for example, she might think, uh, well, this is zero, so this must be zero teen. And of course it's not, it's 10. Or one, one teen, no, it's 11. <laughs> Uh, two, two teen, no, it's 12. And uh, this is gonna take some work. It just takes, you know, it's surely a memorization task and it's just gonna take some work to get to know these. Uh, this is not, uh, this is three, this is not three teen, it's 13. Um, this is five, but this is not five teen, it's 15. So. There's no shortcut to this. You just have to uh, work with these, with these uh, irregulars, sometimes in isolation, um, any way you can to, uh, to assist your child in memorizing those names. And like I said, it, it probably won't happen overnight, but uh, he or she will get them. All right, and then of course you can just go through some of the uh, the same exercises uh, that you did uh, when you had the entire array out here. You say the name, uh, she points to the number, um, and of course you can just pretty much focus in on the, the teen numbers. Uh, you point to a number and he will say the number. And uh, once again, I reiterate, this is strictly a memorization task. So uh, hang in there, keep working with your child until they 
really can name all of these teen numbers. Okay, just a couple more things I want to mention um, uh, at this time. Uh, here's another uh, activity you can do to get these numbers 0 to 20 down, or I should say for your child to get uh, to learn these numbers uh, 0 to 20. This is just a commercial bingo game you can get, and it's 0 to 20 bingo. Uh, there's a link for this on the, uh, to purchase this on the Early Gifted Manual. So kids love playing this game. Um, I would recommend it highly. Uh, just good for number recognition and number naming. And, uh, and there are also two more oral activities that you can do. Uh, I, I call them Give the Next Number and Guess My Number. And um, I didn't include them on the video, but uh, you can get a written explanation of those, uh, of course, just by going to the Early Gifted Manual. And uh, let me see if I can follow this chain. The Early Gifted Manual, then you'll go to Arithmetic and Math Unit, then uh, to the Arithmetic se uh, section, then to Numeration, 0 to 20, and finally, are reciting and recognizing the numbers 0 to 20, and, and you can take a look at those two activities. And they're also great activities to, uh, to reinforce this knowledge of numbers, uh, but in this case, they'll be strictly be working without seeing the numbers. Everything will be uh, done in their head, so to speak. So that's uh, lesson 15, and I'll see you in the next lesson.